Hi, Paula Huffel here. I wanted to show you my little scarecrow and my little kitty cats and bats and owls and pumpkins that I made and I'm hoping to do a tutorial on those and I'm gonna give you an like an explanation on how I made my little cute little scarecrow. He's so cute. I think he's cute. And that way maybe if you want to make a little scarecrow, you can make one yourself. And see I made little pumpkins that match. He's got a little pumpkin there on his lap. And one over here. So I'm going to show or tell you how I did it and then maybe you can make one if you want one. Okay, so for the head, I just used a plastic um, grocery bag and I stuffed it with some material that I got from a, a, a pillow and made it into a head shape. And then for the face, I use this material. This is uh, a non-slip material that you can put underneath your rugs to keep them from slipping. And I got a whole roll of that at the dollar store for a dollar. So I still have a whole bunch of that left over to use for other projects. Um, also the pillows. This is really great to do when you um, for for stuffing. Instead of paying like way too much money for stuffing, I went to a thrift store and got these two pillows, both of them, for two ninety nine, and and just opened them up and took the stuffing out. And I've used that stuffing for several projects already. And, and then you also have the material that comes with it with the piping and everything and um, that's really pretty fall material that I can make something out of as well so for $2.99 for both of those that's that's a pretty good that's a pretty good deal so um, the um, so I just made the the face into a form and then I um, tied it off here at the neck with a little piece of gold um, yarn and the the hat is made from cupcake liners that I just layered on top of his head um, the hair I hot glued straw that I got at the dollar store um, all over the head and then I put the, the hat on over it and I used hot glue to attach all of that and I put a little bit of hair there on the back too. Um, then for the eyes I got brown felt and I cut little triangles and hot glued those on both sides and then uh, for the eyes the eyes are our buttons there's a white button a larger white button and then a smaller black button on top and I just hot glued that on and then the nose is a little triangle that I cut out of this sweater material and hot glued on the cheeks are um, pink construction paper and I just drew the smile on with a sharpie and the bandana was a napkin that uh, had pumpkins has pumpkins and fall colors on it um, so I thought that would be cute so I just folded it into like a bandana shape and tied it around the neck and then I safety pinned it in the back um, the sweater was a sweater that I had got at the thrift store the same day that I 
um, got the pillows and I've cut this sweater so many times I've made like several pumpkins with this sweater and um, so what I did was I just cut it into two uh, rectangle shapes and then hot glued on both sides and stuffed it with the stuffing inside and that made the the chest and then I um, made little you know arm shapes pretty much with this doing the same thing long rectangular shape that I stuffed with stuffing and you know hot glued on the sides and then I glued it to the back so I, I didn't use any um, I didn't sew at all on this project and the little patches here are um, just squares that I cut out of the um, cupcake liners the same cupcake liners that I used for the hat I cut out squares and drew around it with a sharpie knife and then it's kind of stretched out right now but because he's laying differently but uh, I drew around it with a sharpie knife and then I made like little lines to make it look like it was sewn on um, the buttons are hot glued on and then I, I stuffed it with the stuffing stuffed the arms with the stuffing and then I put the straw here at the ends for the hands and put a little rubber band to hold the straw in the pants are actual blue jeans they're toddler toddler pants that I found somewhere and um, I've got them velcroed you can see the velcro here um, so I vel put velcro on the sweater and inside of the pants and then put them together so that um, the they stay together and then this is just a some twine that I made a belt from also um, before you get to the pants I put a, a dowel that goes down the back you can't see it but there's a dowel that goes down down here it's right here and if you don't have a dowel you probably could just use a um, a uh, you know cut off the the part of a hanger that your clothes hangs on and you could use that um, but it goes from here it goes all the way up into the head and that way it helps him to to sit up straight when he's sitting up and the pants are just toddlers pants I made them a little bit smaller because I um, you can see right here I um, safety pinned them so they're a little smaller so you know that everything fits together and then I stuffed the pants with um, the pillow stuffing put some little patches on the pants this is the same kind of patch with the it's not sewed it looks like it's sewed but it's just a square that I cut out of that um, cupcake holder liner and then I drew around it with Sharpie and made little lines to make it look like it's sewn on there and then down here at the bottom I just put some of that straw coming out at the bottom and uh, put some rubber bands around the the feet to hold the straw in place and that's it so there's the little scarecrow and I think he's really cute I think he has a very sweet face and so maybe once fall is over maybe we'll put him in the backyard and he'll help protect our chickens from anything so 
Anyway, enjoy, and if you make a little scarecrow, I'd love to see a picture of it. Thank you.